Hey, welcome back to Minifig Monday. Thanks again for joining me today. We're going to be taking a look at the Rococo Aristocrat, or the French Noblewoman, as I like to call her, from the most recent Minifig series, 24, at this point of this video. Um, but yeah, she is great. Let's take you 360 degree of her. Very, very big old thick dress piece. Uh, which is not the first time we've gotten this. Nope. It's the second time. Um, but yeah, this is great. She's very cool. She does come in an accessory. I'll show you that in a little bit. But she is mostly designed, I believe, from the Victorian era. I could definitely be wrong about that. Maybe the medieval era. Close to there. It's one of those two. She's supposed to be like this old-fashioned French lady. Um, from like the... Olden, yay olden times. So yeah, she's great. Um, she doesn't come with a ton of pieces. So you're essentially paying $5 for every, or I guess $1 for every part, I guess you could say. But she does come with a lot of cool uh, printing. A lot of great design work went into this one, I think. And um, yeah, she does have one new piece, which is this headdress. You know, the fancy white wig that, um, I believe English folk wore back in those times. And it's very ridiculous, but it fits very well. Um, she does have two faces, which is great. Of course, that's always a plus to me. Um, I don't have any figures to compare this really with. We do have the Queen from Series 15 that also had this big old dress piece. Um, we'll do her at some point. We'll review her some point or another um but she's great i first of all i love the, the the light pink there's like three different pinks there's like light pink then there's dark pink and then you've got a magenta kind of in the middle it almost reminds me of princess peach kind of um i was kind of tempted to get this one or the the falcon girl the one with the red hair and the falcon that one I might get her if I can find her. Um, because I went to the Lego store recently and I was only able to get this one because they didn't have the spaceman that I wanted as well, which is fine. He's like the most popular one and he's the, like the least detailed one in the series, but still. Uh, but I'm glad I was able to get her. She's like the easiest one to feel for because she has this big old dress piece. It's almost like a Duplo brick. Uh, so that's, it's like super easy. You, you like, you feel it and there you go. Um, I feel like maybe she should have come with a fan though, because I feel like in those days, the, the, like the royal, um, women were all like had the fans. Uh, that's just what I think, but yeah, she's cool. Uh, let's talk about her accessory, which is a dog. It is a chihuahua in white. It's very simple. Like there's not a lot of printing. It just has the face, the, like the eyes and the mouth and the nose, but it's cool. It's nice. It, it matches her. It looks good, you know, next to her. And I do have some other dog figures. I'm not going to bring them out, but I do have some other ones. Um, and this one matches really well with her, I think. It looks very good with her. She can hold the dog by the stud right there on the bottom. And other than that, she doesn't come with anything else. I think maybe most of the money went to this dress piece being reused. or Actually, it's probably the headdress that, that took up a lot of the budget. Um, but yeah, let's talk about that headdress. That is an interesting piece. It is brand new. And it's very elaborate. It's got lots of like... You can see the hair. The curls are not quite the same on both sides. Uh, you've got tons of rolls up here. It's looking very good. There's the back of it. it. Just looks, it looks great. You could use this for like any like Victorian figure, like old style minifig, maybe a Renaissance figure, something like that. You could use that for a lot of things. Even Pirates of the Caribbean, you could use some things as well. Uh, let me put that back on her. She has some great printing. Like look at all this detail. I mean, she's got all this like stitching work and like just uh, a bunch of ruffles and bows and you can see the inside of the dress. It's very, very, very pretty looking. It's, it just looks very, 
very nice. Uh, just a bunch of detail, but very nice. Got a necklace on. You can see a little bit of the upper chest there. Got the some more ruffles going down here. It the torso design leads very well into the legs, uh, the dress bottom. I think it looks very good. This printing even on the bottom, like that's nice. Um, I like the colors; they're very consistent. I love the, the light pink; it looks very, very good. Uh, here's the back of her, which does have some more detailing. Uh, I think maybe it should have had printing on the back of the dress, but you know what? It's not that, like, it's not, it's not that big of a problem. It's just like they could have done something, but it's fine if they didn't. More details here. I think that's the zipper on the back, and there's just more to see. On the back, a little bit of the ruffles. And you can see the back of that um, head, that wig. I almost call it the headdress. It's a wig. So that's what that is. A very elaborate wig. Um, I love the face. Now, there's been some problems with the printing on this one. Sometimes it's been scratched. I've seen some reviewers say it's been like kind of scratched up in some places. Mine was pretty good. I had to scratch off a little bit of the print on it. Um, or just like the black printing, like the leftover marks of it. But it wasn't that big of a deal. Looks very good. Very, very good. Obviously, because it's a yellow minifigure head and you're printing white onto it, it's not going to look that... It's not going to look perfect, but it does look pretty good, especially from a distance. It looks pretty nice. She's got the the over uh, overdone makeup with just a bunch of white. You've got the two pink dots. You've got the little beauty mark. Big lipstick, big red lipstick there. And it looks nice. She does have an alternate face, which is a little bit different. It's her, like, happy or maybe shocked. I think it's maybe her happy. Uh, let me put that with the hair piece so you can see that. Well, there you go. That's what that looks like. I like that face. I like both faces. But I think maybe there should have been maybe a different, maybe a different face. But you know what? It's still nice. And that's, that's her. The Rococo Aristocrat. Uh, I think Rococo is like a certain art style or like decoration style that was way back in the day. I did a little bit of research and uh, I think France did have some of it. Europe as well. Just some different countries had some different designs. Germany and Russia as well. So just like different... Um, it's, it's just like a different style of doing things. Like the... The way you dress, the way you act and stuff, the way things were decorated back then. I think that's why they call her the Rococo Aristocrat, I think. Pretty sure. But yeah, this is a great figure. I'm hoping that they do more like this, like maybe an old style princess. That'd be cool, or like an old fashioned, like, um, squire. Some kind of medieval, I could see them doing more medieval stuff and more old fashioned figures. I think that'd be cool. They could reuse this this wig. You could do some other stuff with it. I'd like to see this dress piece be used more. They could use it for Disney princesses. That'd be cool. Or like just other princesses in general. I think this dress piece should be used more. It's a very good piece, uh, I think. And this figure is, is a fantastic looking character, I think. And yeah, it's kind of an, um, what's the word? It's like an out of left field choice for me normally. I normally go for like the robots or the action characters or like the knights or just different figures. I thought this one was different enough um, and I really liked it. So I picked it up and I'm glad I did. Along with this uh, space warrior, which we covered earlier, the robot warrior. Um, when I can, I'll get the spaceman. I'll, I'll show him as well. But let me know what you think about this figure. Do you like this one? Do you think it's it's lame? Uh, there's been kind of mixed thoughts about this one, but I think it looks great, and it definitely stands out, um, and, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and, um, I'll see you for another Minifig Monday, of course, and, uh, let me know what you think of Series 24, do you like it, do you not, what do you, what's your favorite figure from that, and do you like any of these series, let me know, um, do you think they should reuse this dress piece, I think so, I think that'd be cool. Um, and yeah, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this fig in the comments, and I will see you there. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you later.